In the year 2074, the world had undergone many transformations, but none as profound as the solution to its most pressing issue, the skewed gender birth rate. For years, the number of male births significantly exceeded that of females, leading to societal imbalances and a myriad of challenges. Governments around the world deliberated on potential solutions until technology provided an answer that was as radical as it was effective. The Gender Reassignment Program, GRP, was established, offering or, in certain cases, mandating transitions for select individuals to restore demographic balance. I, Alex, never imagined I would be part of this program. The day I received the notification of my selection for the GRP, my world stood still. As a young man of 22, my plans had been like those of many others, career advancement, exploration, maybe settling down someday in the distant future. But the program, with its promise of a complete and irreversible transition, including the ability to conceive and bear children, marked a departure from everything I had envisioned for my life. Yet, it was a selection made in the name of societal necessity, and refusal wasn't a realistic option. The transition process was a marvel of modern science, a testament to how far technology had come. The treatments and surgeries were extensive, yet surprisingly swift, facilitated by advances in genetic therapy, hormonal adjustments, and surgical precision. Within months, I was not just legally, but physically a woman in every biological aspect. It was a transformation that was as much mental and emotional as it was physical. Each day brought with it a wave of new sensations, thoughts, and reflections on identity and existence. Adapting to my new life, I found solace in support groups with individuals like me, who had undergone or were undergoing the transition. It was there I met Maya, a kindred spirit whose resilience and understanding became the cornerstone of my new existence. Together, we navigated the complexities of our new realities, forging a bond that was deeper than friendship. As time passed, societal norms began to shift. The GRP, once a controversial and divisive subject, became a cornerstone of the New World Order. My identity as a woman was no longer an oddity, but a fact of life. And with Maya by my side, the notion of becoming a loving wife and mother transformed from a mandate into a heartfelt desire. Maya and I decided to build a life together, embracing the roles of spouses and, eventually, parents. The possibility of pregnancy, once a theoretical aspect of my transition, became a tangible symbol of hope and continuity. When we welcomed our first child, a beautiful daughter, into the world, it was a moment of indescribable joy and a testament to the journey we had embarked upon. Our family was a microcosm of the new world, a blend of past and future, tradition and innovation. Looking back, I realized that my journey through the gender reassignment program was not just about societal needs or balancing demographics. It was about discovering the depths of human resilience and the boundless capacity for love and adaptation. I had transitioned not only in gender, but in spirit, embracing a role that was once unthinkable and finding in it a purpose and fulfillment that transcended my wildest dreams. As I sit here, watching our daughter play, with Maya's hand in mine, I reflect on the path that led me here. The future is a mosaic of possibilities, and my story, just one tile in a vast and vibrant design, speaks to the power of change, acceptance, and the enduring strength of the human heart.